here's how I made that effect using DaVinci Resolve. So on the second timeline, I've got my video here and I added an effect here on the edit page. So go over here to open effects. You're gonna scroll down until you find edge detect or you can use a search bar here. And you grab it, click and drag onto your clip. Once it's on the clip, you go over here to the top right where it comes to the inspector tab. You can change some of these different features, which we'll do in just a second. But the more important thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to the car tab and create a mask. So the first node we won't do anything to, that's the original video, keep that as it is. It's the second we're gonna do. So we'll click on the second one here, click down here where it says for a window or a mask. We're gonna do a custom one, so you click on the pen tool. Then you kind of zoom in and click around where you'd like the mask to be. And then after you got your mask, you go over here to the tracking tool in the color tab again. You'll track forward and backward. Track forward, track backward to make sure that the mask fits on the subject that you have. And then lastly, over here, you want to make sure to right click in this blank space and click add alpha output. This is one thing that a lot of people get uh, messed up. And this will create the blue dot over here. Make sure your blue square and blue dot are connected. Now we're going to go back over to the edit page. The clip that we just did the edits on, if you hit the space bar to play, you'll see that the effect starts to come in as track to the color that we have and the edge detect. I move some of these numbers around over here on the inspector to kind of get some keyframes and make it look like a little fancy. And that's how I made this effect using DaVinci Resolve. Thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate you. And we'll see you next time.